Now imagine it's Saturday night, you're home alone, another evening alone of watching TV. You're feeling lonely, depressed. You wish you had someone to be with, not just anybody, not just a date, but somebody you could really feel close with. And then that little voice in your head says, call up your ex. You know you shouldn't be tempted. You know you should resist. You know if you call, one thing might lead to another. You may end up in bed with your ex. And then the voice in the head again says, Look, it's just a phone call. How dangerous can a phone call be? How many of you think a phone call to your ex could be dangerous? Some of you know. I know. How many of you have ever been tempted to have sex with an ex? A lot of people. What is this like? Well, I went out with this guy for about two years. And now all the time he calls. And sometimes I have to do things I have to go to the store, anything, just so I can distract myself, so I won't say, OK, because one thing always leads to another. So he calls to say what? Hello, how are you? See what you're doing. See what you're doing. Yeah. See what you want to do. I want to go out. And so what does your mind say to you? You know you've broken up. You know you're not supposed to be together. Well, <laughs> he's a really nice guy. And Part of me says, yeah, I want to go. And the other part of me says, no. <laughs> now, do you, go, do you go telling yourself? We're just having dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and you go there after and, dinner. <laughs> and after dinner, you say, we're just going to sit and talk. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? And after dinner, we'll come home and we'll sit and talk. And <laughs> one thing will lead to another. How long has this been going on? <laughs> this has been going on about two years. Two years. Two years. All right, we're going to get back to you. I'm Barbara DeAngelis, and today on my show, we're going to talk about what happens when you rekindle the sexual spark with a former spouse or lover and tell you why it's playing with fire. And for those of you in the throes of temptation right now, including her, we're going to give you tips for breaking your addiction to your ex and moving on to a fulfilling relationship next. is hard to do, but it's even more difficult to break up when you keep having sex with your former spouse or your former lover. We found in doing research for this show that this is more common than many people think or admit. In fact, often it's a secret that people keep from their family, from their friends, because they're too embarrassed to admit that even though they're separated or even divorced, they're still sneaking back to be with their ex. Now, we have an audience full of some people who have admitted that, yes, they have at least thought about this, and some of them who say, yes, I've done it, and some are doing it now. Not at this moment, obviously, <laughs> but they're doing it now. Today, we're going to help you understand why do people continue to see their exes? Why don't they break it off even after the relationship is over? And we're going to help some of you break the habit, because that is the word. It is a habit. You're used to being with somebody, and even though you know it's over, you say goodbye, you take the pictures out of the frames, there's still that habit of, but isn't this the person that I'm supposed to see? All right, now I'm coming back to you over here. Let's see if we can give you some help. All right, two years two with years. this guy. How long were you with him originally? Oh, not very long. We dated on and off for about a year and a half. So you've actually been kind of sneaking back and seeing him longer mm -hmm. than the actual relationship lasted. Yeah, he right. usually calls. Right. He's the one who always makes the overtures. Yeah, I'll run into him somewhere and then he'll call. All right. Do you kid yourself by saying that since he calls, since he's the one, you're nodding your head. What am I going to say? That it's OK. <laughs> that it's OK, right? That I don't call him and I don't agree to anything. So I guess when it happens, he kind of convinced me to do it. Yeah. <laughs> right, all right. How old are you now? 22. All right. Uh, do you want to have a nice, happy relationship with somebody? Yes. Mm -hmm. OK. Have you been seeing anybody else? Yeah. OK. Now? Yeah. OK. Oh, I didn't know about this part. This is a different show. So your present boyfriend, does he know? No. He doesn't. And hopefully, you're not watching the show either. So he, all right, so you're, so you're in a new relationship. Why do you keep saying yes? 
Well, it's been a long time since I said he yes. He called last night when I was talking he to the guy. He must have known you were coming here. <laughs> the guy I'm dating was on. I was talking to him, and the other guy called. So. <laughs> right. But since you've been with a new guy, you no. you haven't not seen. Yet. No. Not yet. Not <laughs> yet. All right. Hopefully We're, not. <laughs> hopefully not. What's it going to take, though? What's it going to take for you to absolutely say never again? To I'd probably enjoy the company of this other guy and just keep going with my life. Okay. Stay away from him. <laughs> See, that's a trick. Thank you. She said it. To stay away from the person. This is too tempting. Who else has gone through this? Who else has been giving in to the temptation, being with your ex, and going through all this? Uh, yes. I. She's not alone? <laughs> no, she's not. Um, well, actually, the reason that, well, seeing my ex, well, I haven't done it for a while. <laughs> Everyone's going to say that, right? <laughs> to protect yourself. No, but um, it's not as threatening when you're seeing someone out of the relationship, so it seems okay. When you're in the relationship and you have this whole thing going, you know, this is my boyfriend and this is the right thing to do because everything's okay and they're seeing me, I'm seeing them. But when you're out of the relationship, you don't have that same kind of pressure. So it's easier to just not think about it. Why did you and he break up? Oh, gosh. Should I go into that? <laughs> yeah. No, because um, he, it, in your mind, I mean, how many of you ever had somebody and one of you broke up with the other? I mean, you've broken up in relationships. Raise your hands if you've ever had a relationship end. All right. Usually when it ends, you say, that's it. I'm not seeing you anymore. It's over. And you go on with somebody else. Or you look for someone or you hope to meet someone. Usually you break up because you didn't like the way things were with that person. So it's, we're trying to understand why would you want to be with somebody who you decided not to be with. So what goes on inside your head? Well, it was kind of a hairy situation, actually. When I originally broke up with my ex-boyfriend, we had kind of been shaky on and off for a little while. We tried to work it out, and it seemed that we just were better friends than trying to be committed to each other and appease everything, you know. Yeah, but, but when you have... We're very compatible, though. I mean, I'll admit that. I feel very comfortable with him, and he's still one of my absolute best friends. But isn't he more than a friend if you're being intimate with him? Yes. Yes. It, it, <laughs> but then at the same time, I really, after I see him, I, I can go for quite a while without seeing him again, and I don't feel like I have to see him. And he, just in the same situation as hers, he's the one who always calls me, so I don't... So you tell yourself, I tell myself right, it's you tell okay. yourself it's okay. But see, here's the important thing to ask yourself. Sometimes I think what happens is that we like the power of being able to say, I don't have to see him. I don't have to rely on this person. I am in charge, especially if in the relationship we didn't always feel in charge, especially for women. She's nodding her head. Sometimes there's a good feeling about that. We've heard from women. Are there any guys who've done this or have been on the other side of this? Yes? We have a, a relationship that's been going on with a group of girls. A group <laughs> of girls? <laughs> and this has been going on for 18 years. 18, wait a minute. Do these girls know one another? No. No. So it's a group in your mind, but not in their mind. It's, well, these are girls that I've had relationships with, been in intimate relationships with them in the past, and then our lives have gone in different directions. And when I travel and come back to this town, um, a lot of times I'll call these girls, and they're always, we always seem to end up in an intimate relationship together. We just seem to. Something happens, and we say, all right, I don't, I don't want you to go away, all right? You're on the spot now. We want to hear about this. A group of girls. We're going to come back. Talk more to him. And we're going to meet a man who says that sex with his ex is like baseball. I don't know what that means. We're going to find out. Don't go away. We're talking about people who cannot let go of their exes and continue to be intimate with them, as we say on television. And where is he? Stand up again. We, we can't leave everybody thinking about this. A group of women who, over 18 years, are you telling me that most of your exes you continue to see? I left the relationships on good terms. On good terms. All right, uh -huh. so you're saying you still end up going back and these women go to bed with you. It's real safe, especially with the ones that are married. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you're saying safe for you? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty safe. Okay. So here you are. Okay. How, how old are you? 
33. You're 33, you're single, you're attractive. There's a safety emotionally in going back to a woman you know, you're close with, she knows about you, she's accepted you, she's loved you at one time. You don't have to risk what? As, well, as long as there's integrity about, about what we're doing, in situations that I've been in where girls were trying to get me back in a relationship, then it's not, it's not safe. Okay, but no, you're avoiding what I'm saying. What, what is safe for you? And being with the same people over and over, and then you get to avoid going out and starting a new relationship with somebody who might like you, might not like you, might not like the way you are. Don't have to be committed to something new. Don't have to be committed to something new. So it looks like you're just having these nice reunions. But I think underneath there's a little bit of a hiding going on. This is what we were talking about earlier. It's safe to spend time with somebody you know you used to be with. But then you get to avoid questions like, will anyone else accept me? Will I ever find anybody again who loves me? And when you meet a new woman, let's say you meet somebody tonight, and you start a relationship, you start dating, do you tell her about this? Eventually. <laughs> Eventually? All right, ladies, let me just ask you. If you met a guy and he said, oh, I go back and spend lots of time with all my exes whenever I see them, just kind of for old time's sake. Would this be okay with you ladies? Yes, no, no, why? I want to hear from somebody, raise your hand. Why would this not be okay with you if somebody went back and continued to be with their exes? Anyone, yes? Well, I would think that it means that they have a problem with commitment. A problem with commitment mm -hmm. and you'd be afraid that maybe they wouldn't be able to commit to you? Definitely. Right, or one day you'd become one of the group, which is also the other problem. I don't, you know, if I'm in a relationship, a committed relationship with somebody, I'm not, going and seeing these other girls. Right. Just in between. It's just, if I'm single and I'm not in a committed relationship, these are, are very nice girls and we had very good things and you know, it's very comfortable. Yeah, it's safe is what it is. It's safer than dating strangers. It's safe and that's one of the reasons that we have a hard time. But the consequences of doing this is what we're talking about. What are the consequences of not letting go of an ex? She's in a relationship, a new one for a year and a half, still has kind of seen, you know, is worrying that she's going to go back to her ex again. Anyone else been in a relationship and had a hard time letting go and are feeling that maybe it hasn't been the healthiest thing to continue to go back and see that person again? Yes? Um, yes, I went sleeping back with my ex thinking that, you know, I could be in control of the situation. and it didn't turn out that way. What I really wanted was a commitment from him and I wasn't being honest with him and I didn't get what I wanted. Mm. So, so it backfired. Yeah, it, it, it just did. So in I, other words, here's the scenario. Uh, we haven't talked, but imagine this. You're in a relationship, you don't quite get the commitment or the love or the attention you want. You break up, your ex is lonely or they call and you think to yourself, maybe if yeah. I go back, right? I'll get a second chance. Right, I'll get a second. Maybe I'll convince the person. Maybe they'll realize how they missed me or they're lonely without me. And what happens is you end up feeling afterwards how? You, you just feel the, depressed and lonely still. Because lonelier. Lonelier, exactly, because yeah. this person didn't want you. Right. See, that's, that's what goes on. Yes? Yeah, <clears throat> well, just relating to what she just brought up, it, it sounds like the, the type of thing when you get back together with a, an ex, it seems like it would not be suited for trying to get back in a relationship. The only thing that it does is it substitutes for getting back together in a relationship. And that's the only level of, of commitment it seems that it has to offer. I mean, a lot of the, a couple of the, the women that were speaking earlier, it sounded like a really sort of sad situation where they had this emotional void and then they're just kind of filling it with something that's not real and insubstantial just you know because it's safe it's almost like anonymous sex except that you know them so it's even safer than anonymous sex because you don't have any sort of emotional risks that you're taking yeah see this is anyone agree with this it is kind of like anonymous sex because he said it there are no emotional risks see the person's already rejected you you can't break up you're not together kind of like what she was saying but the risk that you do take when you don't let go of an ex is you keep yourself from being emotionally available for a new person. And sometimes you prolong the tearing away. You prolong that final goodbye. And that can take a big toll on you emotionally. All right, we're going to come back and talk about somebody, I know I promised you, who said sex with the ex is like baseball. And we're going to give you some solutions for breaking the ex habit. So don't go away.
about the price you pay when you don't break off your relationship with a former husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend and tempt yourself by being with them. We're going to talk about that temptation, but where's Mr. Baseball? Where's this baseball story? Oh, yeah, there you are. All right. What, what is this that you told somebody? Could you get up there? Well, now, let me first say, Barb, Barb, that, um... <laughs> you know that, what kind of guy this is, ladies, right away. <laughs> that, that basically, I didn't mean that sex with your ex was like baseball. It's, well, there's, there's a few intangibles that haven't been weighed in. And uh, one of them, basically, is uh, that when you, when you break up with somebody, they, they look a lot better. They get a little more radiant. You see them, and there's a glint in their eye. They, they've lost weight. Their skin looks better. It's something weird, OK? I don't know what it is, but it's true. Now, it's a trap, like you said. It is definitely a trap. And it's, uh, well, to put it into baseball terms, it's like um, if you trade a player that you know has a lot of ability and a lot of potential, and you trade him, you know, in the pit of your stomach that he's going to acknowledge that potential somewhere else, or she, you know. And so you know they're just going to wind up playing better someplace else. And so when you see him again, you know, you sort of, well, it's true. No, it's true. It's true, OK? So you just sort of, well, to put it in layman's terms, you know. So right. you're just, uh, so, you know, basically, you so know. You're, so he's saying it is somebody looks better after you've broken up with them. Can anyone relate to this who's gone through this? That they kind of, something about them is more attractive? All right. But the problem is that it, that it is a trap. Because do you go on? Do you find a new relationship? No, you end up depending upon that. See, there's only one way to really break up with somebody. You don't see them. You don't talk to them. You don't sneak off and have dinner with them. Because it's tempting, isn't it? How many of you feel like it is tempting? to find somebody that you used to be with and pretend everything's going to be fine, yeah? Yeah. Well, because you have all those places that you used to go, you know, and you're, you're so used to talking with, you know, your ex, and you, you get chatting on the phone and you say, well, let's just go out and talk as friends. But then you go to your favorite restaurant and your favorite right. atmosphere, and there's the soft jazz playing in the background, or whatever your thing is. <laughs> You know, and the red wine and everything, and, and you're there, and you're in the moment, and you sort of get caught up in that glory and the romance that you used to have. Or that you never had, that you wish you could have had with that person. Maybe the relationship didn't end the way you wanted it to, and you still love them. I mean, how many of you have loved people, but you've had to end the relationship? Doesn't mean the love goes away. And as he said, it's like a sequence of events. You know, it's like you're used to going to your house and eating cornflakes in the morning, the place you grew up. You're used to going into a bar and having a drink. You're used to going out with your partner, and what do you do when you come home? You end up going to bed with each other. That's what married people do. So if you decide, I don't want to be with this person anymore, it is too tempting to put yourself back in those situations, or you're going to get in trouble. We're going to be back for some final thoughts, so don't go away. <laughs> Barbara, you were saying earlier that people get involved with their exes because it's safe. But do you really think it's possible to remain emotionally detached from your ex, getting back involved with them? Is it possible to have sex with your ex and not start getting pulled in emotionally? Right. I don't think so, because lovemaking is supposed to be an emotional experience. And the problem is, yes, you can stay detached, but then you've separated sex and love. And that's a bad habit to get into. You get in your new relationship, and it's hard to feel yourself completely intimate emotionally with that person. So I think it sets up bad patterns. And that's what we're hearing, is that it's hard to break the pattern once you get into it. It is not easy to end relationships. You have to let go of a, a lifestyle you used to have and the comfort of having somebody there for you. It's normal to feel pulled back towards your partner when you first break up, even to want to be with them again, to find that spark you once had. But the important thing is, wanting to be with them is OK. Doing it probably isn't. Each time you jump back in with your ex, you have to start the healing process all over again. So if you're ready for that, do it. But it is really like playing with fire. I hope we've given you some strength and courage to not give in to that temptation. I hope all of you make it. I'm Barbara DeAngelis. Thanks for being here. Thank you all for being here with me. <laughs>